What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If you haven't met me already, my name is Devin Durbin. So today on the channel we're going over the Bark Box from West Coast Saws. If you haven't seen them already, they're just awesome muffler modification covers um, that are just epic. So if you're interested in what I have to say about it, stay tuned. All right, guys, let's get down to the real reason why we're here today. So the Bark Box from West Coast Sauls, uh, it was uh, something that was on my checklist. Um, as soon as I picked up 462, I just had to try out the Bark Box. Um, these things are absolutely gnarly. So when they talk about it being a Bark Box, yeah, it makes your saw bark for sure. So that gnarly sound is just something that you know I had to have. So it looks good, it sounds good, it is good. So this thing is, uh, you know, a very, very good product made in the U.S., hand tig, um, and it comes in 304 stainless. I think it is absolutely 100% well engineered and well designed. Um, I reached out to Gordy. He said that he worked on this design for a year to get it to where it is now. So um, he even went through and dyno tested so he can prove that he gets a 6 to 10 horsepower gain on any saw that the bark box is on. So uh, it's, it's pretty good stuff. 6 to 10 percent on a 6 horsepower saw is pretty darn good. You're looking at, you know, 0.6 horsepower. Um, you could definitely feel a difference. So I can definitely vouch for that. I've tried it and I can definitely feel more power. I love it. So I love that it comes with a spark arrester. Um, the, the craftsmanship is bar none. Um, it's just wicked. So it easily replaces the muffler cover on your saw. Uh, if you're running an Mtronic saw, literally just let the electronic ignition take care of it and literally it'll learn this bad boy in no time um, and your second cut is just gnarly. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run a video and I'm gonna show you what it's like to uh, run it with the stock muffler. Uh, a couple things about this. I made sure that we were in white oak it's a hardwood through and through. Um, it was 28 inch log. So my 28 inch bar is absolutely 100% buried in it. I'm running a still factory RS chain, 3 8 pitch 5.0, and it's full chisel. So we're putting it to the absolute beans with a 28 inch bar. Um, we're running stock muffler on this first video. So let's get down to it. All right, guys, so if you know, if you're a, a, a chainsaw guy, you know that that low end torque was kind of lacking there. Um, a couple times I did bog it down a little bit and I let back off. Um, I wasn't running the saw too hard. I wasn't leaning on her too bad, but I definitely was making it work. I wanted it to eat fast. So, you know, I was, I was uh, putting some weight on it, but I was not leaning on it. So you can hear that low end torque kind of bog out a couple times. Now it's time to take off that muffler cover, that old nasty muffler cover, and put on the, this bad to the bone uh, bark box here. We're gonna go ahead and slap it up on here and we're gonna run our second video. So same log, um, right through the same, same area as the first one. 
Um, you can hear the increase in power in the low end. Um, you can hear the uh, the sound just get gnarly, and that bark box is just getting it. So uh, let's roll the second clip. guys so you just watched the bark box video um, I'm gonna go with that was pretty gnarly so it's an absolute change in sound and absolute change in power um, my theory is that if it's 0.2 or 0.3 horsepower that you really cannot tell a difference between you know horsepower but this thing absolutely increases the horsepower where you can tell I fully believe in the placebo effect but this is definitely definitely uh, a lot more than a placebo effect this thing changes your saw for the better um, absolutely awesome so six to ten percent horsepower increase yeah I'd say we got every bit of it so I cannot wait to see what the future holds with this made in America it's just awesome I think that you should go out and get one check out westcoastsaw.com and see if they have one for your saw because you might just buy one I'm just saying. So I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you're into. And I guess we'll see you guys in the next video.